Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I'll be showing you another video of how to use the Excel sheets that are available on the website and in particular another video related to the derivative section of uh, the level 2 uh, exam and we saw earlier how to value uh, or how to price forward in the generic form and today we would apply the same concept in uh, trying to forward uh, equity contract in particular and rather to sorry price forward uh, contract that are written on equity uh, securities and in order to find the value for that in the future so this, there is over here I just to provide the summary of the final formulas um, if you would like to have details of how each formula came into place you should probably consult the website the reading on the website or and I'm already providing a link to that below the video but overall, uh, in order to be able to price forward contracts, especially if the stocks are dividend paying stock, we would have to incorporate the value, the impact of dividends on the analysis. Um, why exactly do we remove the present value of the dividends or the future value? Why don't we add it back or why do we actually account for it? All these answers we would be able to see in the reading. But for now, we'll see that in What's important over here is to basically uh, account for the present value or future value of the dividends. And the formula over here is similar to the formula that appears on the generic form, except that it simply removes the present value of uh, dividends over time. And uh, if we would like to use the future value instead, because simply the future value is nothing than more than compounding the present value, then all we have to do is to take this outside the equation and then basically remove it from the common factor, which is the compounding effect, because it has already been compounded. So you can either use this formula or this formula to calculate the forward price um, of the contract, of an equity contract. And the future at time t small t if you'd like to find the value of the contract all you'll have to do is basically to remove the current spot price uh, the adjusted current price spot price for the dividends and subtract that from uh or sorry subtract uh the forward price the discounted value of the forward price the present value of the forward price and in that case you will arrive at the uh, value now another uh, version of the that this all valuation is done in discrete time so as you can see everything here is discrete um, and we can actually move that into a continuous world in which we would basically need to find the continuous risk-free rate and this happens if we assume a dividend yield instead of assuming a discrete dividends so if we assume that the stock is paying uh, annual dividend yield all we would have to do is basically to use the same formulas but adjust them a little bit and um, in this case we'll use the exponential in order to reflect on the fact that this is a continuous rather than discrete and this formula looks almost the same as the value in the discrete world except that it's using a continuous uh, time so here we are removing the impact of the dividend and over here we are discounting the forward price uh, using the risk free rate this formula as well also looks the same as this formula, except that it's assuming a continuous world. Again, all these details are available on the reading, and you could uh, probably uh, have a look if you need to understand how, the, how this thing is working. So let's look at the example for which we will be using the file, and we consider uh, we have two examples here. We consider a 180-day forward contract written on a stack that has the following information. The price of 420 risk free rate to 5% and we have the dividend schedule over here so 12 days in order to get the first x dividend date of 0 0.35 and 50 days for the second one of 0 0.35 we're asked to find the forward the price and then we are asked to value it from a long perspective after 40 days of passing in the contract where the risk where the current price has changed to 422 and we don't have any information about changing the risk free rate so we will assume that it hasn't changed so let's go over here and again enable the macro if it hasn't been enabled already. So the number of dividends, first of all, that we have over time is 2. This will create the schedule over here. And the current stock price is 420, that is free rate is 5%. And we have 180 over 365 in order to be specific. And then we will enter over here, before we move on, we will enter uh, the present this is the the dividends information and we'll have to enter it as a proportion of time so we have 12 days 
and that will be 12 over 365 and we'll have here 50 days which is 50 over 365 and both of them were 0 0.35 0 0.35 and here we go we have the present value of dividends and contract initiation present future value of dividends and contract initiation and here is the forward price um, including the dividend adjustment at time of valuation right now we are 40 days into the contract so 40 divided by 365 and the second price has changed to 422 and the risk free rate hasn't changed so we're gonna say no and right now the present value of remaining dividends because we only have this dividend left the first one has already been paid that's why you will see a difference over here also because time has passed that's another reason why there is a difference between them so the present value of the remaining dividends is 0 0.3477 and then we find the value of the long position 40 days into the contract to be a positive 0 0.105 which means the value for the short position is a negative one. Now if we move to the other example where we are just going to use almost the same information except that we are uh, using now a continuous world rather than discrete world. So we have a one year forward contract that's written on an equity index that has a current price of 40 with continuous annual dividend yield of 0 0.5 and continuous discount rate of 4%. Three months into the contract, and the price has moved to 450, and the dividend yield has moved to 0.6. What is the value of the long position three months into the contract? This is actually one of the questions from the CFA, the daily CFA trivia. So let's try to answer it. If we would like to have a dividend yield rather than a schedule of dividends, we'll click on the second sheet, and we'll enter the information that we have: a current stock price of 400, the discount rate is 4%, the dividend yield is 0.5%, time to expiration is one year. And then, the time of valuation that we're looking for is 0 0.25 since we are 3 months into the contract. The stock price has moved to 450. The risk of free rate hasn't changed. However, the dividend yield has changed to be 0.6%. Uh, so right now, all, as you can see over here, we have the forward stock price to be 4.2479. And the value of the long position at that time to be 45.97 which is a positive one. This is pretty much it about valuing forward contracts on equity uh, securities. If you have any questions, please make sure to email me on the website and uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel to follow our blog in order to get notified about each new post and to follow us on our social networks, our Facebook page, Twitter and Instagram in order to be able to participate in the daily CFA trivia. Thank you all for listening and have a good day.